Hello everyone, welcome back to the DOU. Thank you for joining me again. If you're a part of my tribe, the community, I welcome you back and I'm so glad you're subbed up and you're getting your alerts. Awesome sauce. And if you aren't part of the tribe yet, welcome. And I hope that after this video or any other video that you watch on this channel, you'd consider subscribing. So today we're going to discuss my thoughts and I want to share with you some things about Prince Harry and I'm sure you see it too but you humor me just humor me what is this that I'm looking at take a good long look there's nothing else on my screen there's nothing else to take away from what is on the screen right now. What eyes are those? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm not here to make humor of the person's face or the hair or anything like that but i just want to point out some things that don't quite seem copacetic for instance and without drawing up another photo of prince harry to show him in another photo because you've seen a dozen of them and you know something that's what they expect us to be so conditioned to see so many photos and Really, photos recently of Prince Harry are not looking like the real, legit Prince Harry. Now, I know some people, when you hear the word clone or surrogate, not in the sense surrogate meaning for a baby or having a baby, but a surrogate as someone who is hmm, not a clone, but not really a stand-in either, but someone who's been genetically modified to appear like the person that you think you're looking at, but they aren't really of this world. That kind of surrogate. When I've showed you photos of Prince Harry before, and I'm sure, again, you've seen them all over the internet, so it's not just the photos I'm showing you because that's where I get the photos, is from the internet. You've seen Prince Harry's nose dip down to a little bit more of a point. And he has a very wide bridge of his nose, kind of like the middle area of his nose is quite wide and gets a little thinner. These eyebrows and eyes are freakish. I guess freakish in the sense that they're not exactly what we're used to seeing. And I don't need to tell you that. And his hair, it looks like he has two different types of hair. One is on the side, a very smooth, general look to Caucasian hair. And then on the top, it looks like somebody just put a powder puff and kind of just put it there. The textures are completely different. This, my friends, to me, is some kind of cyborg, robotoid, robotic Prince Harry. And even when you say robotic, people will be like, oh my gosh, she's way off the deep end. Well, well girl, I'm not off the deep end. It's 2020 and they come up with these things after decades of research, study, and trials. And they do this without 
any of us knowing about anything of the sort, you know, of the sort. So it's not so crazy. What's crazy is that in 2020, as we go further into a new era, a new time, and new beginnings, people are looking more towards the past. And it's in the past that you were not aware. I don't live in the past. You really have to look at what we're seeing with our own eyes and stop the denial. The more that you deny, the more that these people, whomever we're speaking of, continue to think that they've somehow bamboozled us. We're so gullible, so unintelligent, and so unable to see past the point of our nose that we could not fathom robotics being used, decoys such as clones, surrogates, and other worldly things right in front of our eyes. So I don't want to make this video more than it needs to, but I really just wanted to point out the eyes, the eyebrows that connect to the nose. The bridge of the nose is not as wide generally as Prince Harry's was. Pull up some photos of his from the past even if you have to go to, you know, more than a few years back and you can see there's a different shape to his face, generally speaking, and his nose. And if you pay closer attention, you'll see that the eyebrows, the arch of the eyebrows, the eyebrows, the eyes, definitely the eyes where he's got like one crazy eye and they are even more beady than normal and although the ears I noticed that they are to me purposely fuzzy we can't really even see details of his ear and again this is 2020 where we all know that you know transmission in terms of video or, or photos are becoming they are already, but becoming increasingly more detailed oriented. So photos are, you know, cameras are now made in the common person's hand to be even more high tech than they ever were in history. So, you know, we're really coming up fast on next year, 2021, and you see all the crazy, odd things in the world and it's good to be woke. And when you use that word woke, really you should use it and mean it because we are seeing things right before our eyes that they want us to go, oh, that I'm, I'm crazy to think that. Because in all honesty, when desperate people exercise desperate measures to fool the nations, there is some serious shit happening and you should not be so eager to deny it. So I wanted to point those things out. Now, if you look at this photo here, I'm not even sure what the smile lines on Harry's face, if that's the norm. His face looks a little distorted to me, but again, sometimes we look a little different. I always look now at the ears more than I ever did before on people, especially when you're looking at people on the internet and photos, even the common person. You have to start to wonder what the hell is going on. And I know that people don't like the word clone because they think that's too advanced for them. It reminds me of like how when they're trying to give stimulus packages out here in the United States, Everybody commonly says, oh, I would love to have $1,200, but 
that would be great. No, they should just give the $1,200 stimulus. Yes. Just like they've given us before. Yes, that's, that's fine. I'm good with that. And I think when you are having options of 2000 or 1500 2000 3000 3500 and I've even seen 4000 people always want to shortchange themselves and go to the lowest number like that's what they gave us peasants before well that's all we should get that's what we deserve and I think that's preposterous think big people think that you deserve the utmost the most most and most you deserve it after a long life of working, after being fooled and tricked, manipulated, censored, all that stuff. You deserve so much more. So again, I think that when we see this type of stuff,
Prince Harry and his shell of an image, if we can pull it up, and understand and agree this is not the Prince Harry that people grew up with, that people have come to know. And here's what's interesting is this is not the Prince Harry that we've all grown up with, but think about this. This is the Prince Harry that the younger generation will come to recognize as viable, as the real Prince Harry. But thank goodness we know the difference. And if you think there's no thing of surrogates and cloning, stand-ins, doubles, and I think, honestly, people, it's even surpassed just a stand-in or a double. I truly believe there's something more sinister at work here. And the real question is, why? Why are these people resorting to clones or stand-ins or doppelgangers or whatever you feel comfortable with calling them? I call them otherworldly. I will see you in the next video and perhaps I can enlighten you a little bit more and you maybe you will sway my way when I show you some other suspicious things and then we can have a conversation in the comment area of this channel. Thank you again so much for watching this video and I don't know, leave me your comments. Let me know what you think and this stuff is getting worse day by day, each week that goes by, there's even more ridiculous, weird images and suspect things that we read in articles. And really, we should really boycott People Magazine, Hopper's Bazaar, and some of these other um, blues news, fake news that they're feeding us about these celebrities. Let's cancel some of these PR people it's getting a little bit out of hand. If you don't want to give us truth, if you don't think we're intelligent enough to understand or perceive, or you think that you have to be so accepted that you're willing to trick us, then maybe we should all part ways with this type of people. And maybe the Republic in the UK should further be supported to denounce royalty. It's, it's 2020. There should be no royalty. We should all be equal. I will see you in the next video. And you are so, let me remind you, you're so amazing. You're a great group of people. And I thank you for all your time and effort in your comments. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.